unit that works to make the parks along the Charles River more active, attractive, and accessible for all in the community. Today, we're at Herder Park, which is located along the Charles River in the Alston Brighton neighborhood. This park is owned and managed by the Department of Conservation and Recreation. And today, we're gonna to be taking a little tour of the park and seeing interesting things we find and learning about plants and animals in the park this time of year. Before we start our tour, let's take some time to learn about the interesting history of Herder Park. The park was the site of the historic Charles River Speedway, built in 1899. Constructed on marshes, the mile-long oval track hosted horse races and was one of Boston's most popular gathering areas, bringing together horse racers, spectators, and riverside cyclists and walkers. Horse racing at the Speedway remained popular until the 1950s, when it was demolished and replaced with Soldiers Field Road. Now named Herder Park, in honor of Christian Herder, a former Massachusetts governor, United States Secretary of State, and champion of the environment, it's the largest section of open parkland in the Charles River Basin. Well, now that we've learned about the history of the park, let's explore a little bit. Follow me. The original theater had big canvas sides and a roof over the top. And 
the idea is that people from Boston and the surrounding communities could come see a sh come on boat and see a show. The original structure had an opera house and even a restaurant. Over the years, many theater companies occupied this space, but unfortunately, it was left to sit for many, many years. It was in a serious state of disrepair. In 2016, the Charles River Conservancy, along with our friends at the Friends of Herder Park, worked with hundreds of volunteers from the community to help build back this wonderful community space. We redid the benches, rebuilt the stage, and had professionals put up new lights. And since then, every spring and summer, there's been tons of shows and plays uh, and music at this very special venue. Can you imagine what it might be like performing on this stage in the summer? The Herder Park Amphitheater is one of my favorite spaces in all of Herder Park. But believe it or not, there's even more cool things to see. Let's go check some of them out. probably think of beautiful, colorful, and often fragrant plants. But flowers come in all different shapes and sizes. For example, this right here is a type of flower called a catkin. This is an alder tree, so these catkins here are the alder tree's flowers. Catkin comes from the Dutch name catakin, meaning kittentails. And you can see why it got its name. It looks almost like a tail, doesn't it? Catkins are unisexual, meaning they have separate male and female flowers. So this catkin here is the male part of the alder tree, and these cones back here are the female part. Now catkins are pollinated by the wind, which is why they're long and dangling, so even the slightest breeze can help spread the pollen. And that explains why they don't need to be filled with a heavy scent or colorful because they don't need to attract pollinators like bees, butterflies, or moths. In a couple weeks here, when the winter starts to fade out and spring season comes, these catkins will fill up with yellow pollen ready to spread through the air. Well, that concludes our tour. I hope you had a great time. 